What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Arthur Garage. Welcome to another short video. Today, I will be changing my fuel injectors, and we left the fuel pressure off. We do not have no fuel leaks. Thank God, everything is nice and tight. Uh, the only thing I have to do is remove this. I had to customize this um, right here. It looked pretty neat. Uh, I think the top part had broken off, so I ended up managing to uh, get it fixed. So I'm gonna unscrew this, get that out of the way, and then I'm gonna unscrew these eight millimeter bolts, one, two, and then three, four on that side, and hopefully we can wiggle this bad boy out and get these um, eight millimeter bolts out the way. I think it's a five sixteenths. Um, you know, if you convert it from like standard to metric or metric standard, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we getting these little bolts out right here. And it feels pretty damn good. Once the injectors in, we actually done up front, honestly. I uh, said so we got to attach this and I just got to make sure everything is nice and tight. Got the whole thing loose. I'm just uh, getting these uh, connectors off uh, right about now. Um, got two more on this side. Oh yeah, we finally got her out, guys. We finally got her out. Had to kind of wiggle it out, but we ended up getting her out. Uh, getting the connectors out was uh, pretty simple and easy. Um, other than that, we got everything. You know, so I'm feeling pretty damn good. Let's get this bad boy. And while we right here, I got my fuel rail. So apparently I was having some issues with my injector size. Uh, the original one is longer than the ones that I have on there now. So I decided to get some ICT billet on uh, injector spacers right here and uh, put them on. I think I got one, which is right here. I already got it on. Uh, it's the same length, but it should work fine though. You know what I'm saying? So I should work perfect, hopefully. Hopefully, perfectly, we'll see. All right, guys, now it's kind of a weird setup. I heard that people put these on the bottom side, but I'm doing it the right way and having it on the actual uh, other side. I'm not sure if these are gonna leak out, but we will see though, we will see, we will see. I'm kind of sketched out by it. Um. It should at least have like some type of indention. Y'all let me know. Um, but I mean, this is what we're working with. But I guess once we put these bolts in and stuff, it should uh, have it in place. But I know we don't got no leaks for sure. I know it's tight here and it's pretty tight there. Got a good little gasket on there and all. I'm just kind of concerned though. All right guys, so we got all the injectors on. I managed to put these clips uh, in between here just to have it in place. Um, but we're gonna see um, if we have any leaks, I doubt it though. Everything seems snug and tight. So guys, I had to get some uh, spacers from a hardware store uh, to fill in the gap right there. And I also used uh, some uh, other tight bolts. I think it's a M6.1, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's how the ejectors and all that look. And I mean, everything nice and stout, everything is nice and tight. Um, but like I said, y'all will see uh well we will see if it will leak out hopefully nothing don't leak out but everything uh in there snug now with the original uh size without the spacers none of the injectors was able to actually fully go down and stuff now we got uh all the injectors inside uh the holes and stuff and everything uh seems nice and uh tight as y'all can see all right, guys, for the next part, if y'all stay this far, make sure to join the garage if you haven't. And thanks for the uh, support and all that. I really want to get this truck done. I thought this truck would have been done uh, Tuesday, which is Tuesday today. But the fuel system been whooping at my ass, like for real, been whooping my ass. And I can admit to that. Um, it's weird. I bought a like nearly like a $200, $300 uh, fuel pump put it in and it's not even working so y'all gonna see y'all let me know y'all thoughts and stuff i checked my electrical uh system even my wiring um even had went to the shaver dealership got the diagram sent to me and all that like everything has came out fine even used the battery to test uh the fuel pump so y'all stay through the video y'all bear with me and all that and y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below so guys instead of dropping the tank i decided to do it this way you don't have to do it this way if you concern about vapor and all that this is my original fuel pump right here um as you can see something very simple not too complicated this is the wiring harness from racetronics i had to change the bulkhead on top and the square two by two 
uh, pin connector I had would not uh, work with the harness. So I had to get a uh, new pigtail from uh, AutoZone from like three hours, two hours away. I mean, I was going to Summit Racing, so I decided to get that and why I had got the spaces and all that for the fuel injectors. But anyway, I had just repinned every like wire and all that um, together. Not repinned, but redid the wiring so it can uh, work. And I had got the diagrams off the internet, even matched up with the one that I was uh, given uh, from the Chevy dealer and everything uh, turned out fine. And this is the part number four. It's just a pigtail. So guys, this is the four pin connector I was talking about. Uh, your black and gray, the thick gauge wire. You can tell the difference by the uh, the feel and the thickness of it. Uh, the two big ones are for your fuel pump, uh, one for power and then one for ground. And your other two is for your uh, level uh, for the, the gas to tell you how much you got inside and all that. So it was pretty uh, self-explanatory, but pretty uh, easy. But I heard that you could mess up uh, the wiring. Um, just by having one wire uh, mixed up, but I mean, I ain't had that issue. So we uh, come going, come from there. So this is the finished product of it, but I ended up tearing it back up because, you know, I had a recheck, which I will see if y'all stay tuned. So right now I'm planning on working on a bucket. I'm trying to sit this fuel pump in a nice, secure place. I also use safety wire to hold it in place. Um, also remove that bottom sock, as y'all can see. I drilled in a bigger hole for the newer sock for the fuel pump and that's pretty much it and in order for the new bulkhead to fit with the four pin flat connector we had to port the head i had to use like a, a drill bit or whatever in order for it to fit and then i end up uh, putting like some um gas singlet around it which worked out fine and also drilled the bottom side uh, for the fuel pump as you can see so guys, after two days, we actually got it all together. I made sure everything was nice and tight. Everything was plugged up good. Um, and just look how it is. Um, but it's going to be uh, heartbreaking at the end. So y'all will see. So I have everything all plugged up, but I got concerned with uh, the gauge um, sensor uh, level. Uh, I felt like I mismatched the wires but i didn't i end up uh having a, a level but i don't think it was correct um but the fuel pump is priming but i don't have no fuel pressure off my gauge it's just getting zero compared to the original fuel pump i had i'm getting about like 40 50 uh, psi as soon as i crank up the car so guys i'm going step by step i took the fuel lines off and as soon as i turned the key i had not got any pressure and mind you i still got zero psi of course but i was just trying to make sure that you know you know just in case i wasn't getting a wrong reading or not so on this part i quickly did a process of elimination i went straight to the tank so i turned the key i still get nothing out the supply side of the tank to go towards the injectors and i still had zero psi so that tells me we have an issue in this area So guys, I rechecked my wiring and like I said, everything was spot on, even had a Chevy uh, guy send me like, you know, the diagram and all that, um, the color code and everything was spot on. Um, it was just kind of weird uh, for me. The filter is not even dirty. Nothing stopped up. Uh, Check, made sure everything was free flowing. It was just a weird weird weird, weird um, process. And I made sure I had 12 volts, check my grounds. Uh, even check the harness kit. I mean, everything is plugged in like it's supposed to. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just weird. But it ain't rocket science at the same time. You got to use some common sense, right? So, guys, I decided to take it upon my hands and put it in a bucket and submerge this bad boy with some goddamn fuel. Because I want to make sure that this pump is bad. I mean, I don't want to make no bad judgment. I mean, y'all let me know uh, down uh, below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, moment of truth. We have the bucket filled up with the uh, fuel. And yeah, we're gonna see if she pump. It's not even doing nothing. 
All it's doing is gurgling and stuff. Doing so guys, yeah, and we don't have no fuel coming out at all. Uh, the fuel sock clean. We don't have anything, you know, clogged or whatever. I mean, fuel is pretty goddamn dirty, but still though, still we don't have nothing clogged. This doesn't make no sense to me. It just don't make no sense. I guess the pump we have is no good. I mean, y'all let me know down in the comments uh, below. I'm going to talk to Race Tronics because that's where I got it from. Uh, see what I can do. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to hop on the Mercedes now. All right, guys. So, with y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, that fuel pump is not working. And I told y'all that's like nearly like a $200, $300 fuel pump. I got to go check the statement that they uh, had sent me. It's not. I'm gonna see what they can do if they if I have to replace it under uh, warranty or do I have to uh, buy it out my uh, own stuff or whatever. But we will see, man, we will see. Uh, it's kind of suck. I really want to get this truck uh, done today and actually tuned sometime this week, but we can't till we get that sorted out the way. I thought about running a fuel cell. Y'all let me know. I thought about it, I was looking. I mean, they only about like three something depending on the capacity and stuff that I'm looking for. Um, but I think I want to keep it original, though. Um, it's just crazy to me, man. It's just crazy to me. But anyway, y'all let me know y'all opinion down below. Um, like I said, it's not rocket science. My wire harness and all that is straight. Uh, connection's good. We got the 12 volts that we need. And, you know, when, you, when it runs, it's going to draw a lot of amperage and all that. So that's why we got the uh, harness and stuff uh, to help prevent any other uh interactions with the electrical system and stuff of that nature uh, but anyway y'all let me know and uh if y'all stay this far man appreciate you thank you and man uh, y'all stay blessed out there and uh, let's get this truck done man we can get this truck done we gotta get this truck done we gotta get this thing done like it was supposed to be done today it's not it's crazy but i'll tell you Anyway, like I said, y'all see it is filled up with fuel. Uh, this pump is also capable for E85. I wasn't planning on running E85. Well, anyway, that's it. Y'all gonna see this video. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I've been off like the past uh, week or so, and I'm be off tomorrow. So I got one more day to fill it around. But I'm gonna mess with the Mercedes. So y'all stay tuned for another video. See y'all.